So, hey guys, today we're going to talk about adjectives of hydrogen. There is protonium, named after its one proton in the middle, deuterium, which takes part in heavy, and D2O, or heavy water, and tritium, used in, which decays into helium-3 and is used in watches for its radioluminescence. First, we're going to talk about the most famous protonium. Well, not the most famous, but it is most common. In fact, 98.999% of all hydrogen in the known universe is, you guessed it, protonium. Now, pro what makes protonium so special is that it, this proton can decay. Can decay. Now, this electron does not decay, but... In, but in a very long time, this can theoretically blink out, leaving no atom. Now, protonium is used in normal water. With one proton bonded, with one of these bonded to water. Now, in acid-base chemistry, guess why? Do you wonder why hydrogen, why H plus ions are called protons? Because that's what they really are. Next. Now we're going to talk about deuterium, which is the least known and is used in heavy water, or D2O. It contains one proton, one neutron, and an, and an electron. It's, now, it's heavy water causes water to be more dense. Now, the heavy water containing it causes water to be more heavy and dense, like its title. It has no known use and is very uncommon. And it's not, and there's not much to say about it even. But D2O, that's its chemical formula. Now we're going to talk about tritium, which is probably the most widely known. It contains one proton and two neutrons. And it and is, and is radioactive. And, sadly, is radioactive. And, and like you guessed, it's, and like you guessed, it's radioactive. So, with tritium being radioactive, it's used in watches for what's called radioluminescence. Radioluminescence is when a radioactive object, in this case tritium, emits lovely light of all different colors. Now, if it emits colorful light of purples and blues and, e and reds and even uh, and oranges and lovely beautiful purples and blues and reds and, and even oranges and reds. This wowed a lot of people, but tritium watches are illegal in the U.S. It, now, now, to sum it up, now, I'll sum it up. Our three isotopes of hydrogen, tritium, oops, got the page upside down, deuterium, and protonium are all isotopes. And, I forgot, and one more thing about tritium, combining with oxygen, it forms super heavy water, T2O, which is unstable. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.